Alrighty, I thought this would be a grand idea to uh, show you this next um, cool thing while we're taking our break here and enjoying our break and just kind of learning some new things um, that the Mac and the uh, has to offer. And you can also do this on a PC as well. Um, one thing that I really enjoy and I like a lot is, you know, when I go to a new website, you know, for a password to be captured. However, I do not like um, my password to be captured to where I go to that site and it automatically logs in. I don't necessarily care for that. So when I come over here, for instance, to log in, you know, I come over here because I'm trying to upload a new course and I come over here with my password and everything. And I have this little application called One Password. Uh, you can get it from, you go over here to Safari, you go to Extensions and you look for One Password. Or when you download the application, it will you know, prompt you to embed it into your um, Safari uh, browser. And it works on um, Firefox and it works on Google, Google Chrome as well. I do believe it works on uh, Internet Explorer, but I think it works on all browsers. But you come over here, you type your password in, and I hit enter master password there, and it's for Udemy right there. It drops my password in, bada boom, bada bing, I'm logged in. Um, before I go upload my course and I bore you with all that stuff, I'm going to actually show you the application. So when I go into the application, it's going to ask for the master password once again. I mean, maximum security here. So when I get over here, the cool thing I like about it here is all my passwords, uh, you know, um, all my information. Uh, here's all the sites that I've kind of gathered as far as you know, you know, tons and tons and tons of logins and, you know, when you first log in for the first time, it's going to ask you if you want to save that password to your one password. I mean, so it's going to it's going to prompt you and ask you, do you want to save it uh, once you log in um, the first time? And it's all under security. And then there's different settings in here where you can go into and you can go into the settings and you can say, you know, oh, here's the browsers it works on Chrome. Safari and um, Firefox. But when you go in here, it says, you know, auto lock after X amount of minutes. So, you know, if you're the type that walks away from your computer a lot, you know, I want to lock this thing after, you know, 20 minutes, you know, um, you know, when it's inactive. So, you know, let's say, let's just say 10, 10 minutes. So when the one password is inactive, you know, lock when sleeping, you know, lock the screensaver is activated, you know, disable automatic uh, unlock for all applications, you know, all kind of different things. Um, you can come in here and do, you know, it's different, different stuff, you know, you can back it up, you know, I can back up my file to where if I ever lost, um, for instance, this, uh, uh, you know, I got it backing up every day. But if I ever lost this application, you know, if something happened to my computer, I can always follow this path, application support, password, one one password backups, and I can bring that file back in where, you know, I'm not completely lost. You know, I might be a little down for a little while, but I won't be out. You know, so <clears throat> here's all kind of different things. I have personal information and all this other stuff here, so I'm not going to click on it. But, you know, you can set up your wallet. So if you're shopping online, for instance, um, if you're ever shopping online um, and you have to put the same password in or the same credit card in as far as when you shop online, you can just, you know, you pull up one password on the web uh, just like we had did earlier. And um, uh bring that up there that's three fingers swipe straight down but if we're somewhere like eBay and we're about to purchase something you would hit your one password and it's, and you would go down to uh, your wallet down in here you know and it's going to ask you to you know um, you know put the password in whatever the case may be I mean just drop in your your credit card number with all the information the CCV number on the back the um, the um, you know everything everything that that credit card involves but that's one password uh, check it out you can get it from the Mac App Store you know it's really fun it works it's wonderful it's great you know you can grab it from there there is an additional cost on that application however um, you know um, it, it it does a good job so check it out and let me know what you think about it but other than that I will see you over in the next lecture and uh, we're going to continue this 
you know, having fun. That's all I'm uploading today. And, you know, I needed to break myself because I'm like, oh, where is this? Where is that? But these applications that I'm showing you <clears throat> right here today, I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And this, this, this stuff comes natural to me. And I just want to show you. So I will see you on the, in the next lecture. All right. Bye-bye.